It has been a while since I made a YouTube video. Like, I think it's been at least over a year, two years. A while. <laughs> I posted recently a video on TikTok about how I very often think about Sylvia Plath's fig tree analogy from her book, The Bell Jar. And I posted these videos and it turns out that it resonated with a lot of people, like tens of thousands of people. <laughs> and I really hadn't expected that to happen. I didn't really imagine that so many people would be able to resonate with what I was speaking about. It's sort of about the fear that there are lives out there that we didn't choose or paths in our life that we didn't go down. And did we pick the right one? Or are we too scared to pick any? And then are we losing options as we go along? This feeling of questioning whether I made the right decisions in my life, if there's something missing, kind of comes up a lot in my day-to-day -day life. And that's why I originally made that video on TikTok. But for those of you who haven't read The Bell Jar or don't know this analogy, I'm going to read it to you now. I saw my life branching out before me like the green fig tree in the story. From the tip of every branch, like a fat purple fig, a wonderful future beckoned and winked. One fig was a husband and a happy home and children. And another fig was a famous poet. And another fig was a brilliant professor. And another fig was E.G., the amazing editor. And another fig was Europe and Africa and South America. And another fig was Constantine and Socrates and Attila and a pack of other lovers with queer names and offbeat professions. And another fig was an Olympic lady crew champion. And beyond and above these figs were many more figs I couldn't quite make out. I saw myself sitting in the crotch of this fig tree, starving to death, just because I couldn't make up my mind which of the figs I would choose. I wanted each and every one of them, but choosing one meant losing all the rest. And as I sat there, unable to decide, the figs began to wrinkle and go black, and one by one, they plopped to the ground at my feet. It's a pretty heavy one, um, but I have actually found a lot of inspiration in that section of this book, which is kind of what I shared originally on that TikTok video. So I've decided that this year, 2024, I'm going to try and live out all the figs that I didn't pick before. Sounds a little bit crazy. I have a flat, I have a pet rabbit, I have a job and I'm going to be keeping those, but there are aspects of my life and paths that I didn't go down in the past, things that I put on hold, which I really would like to pick up again. Some of these figs are big and some of them are very small. And one of them was that I wanted to revive this YouTube channel because I really used to enjoy making these videos and it seemed that quite a few people enjoyed watching them. So I've committed to myself that I'm going to be posting one video a week on YouTube, on this channel throughout this year to kind of revive that fig that I thought had shriveled up. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you very much for watching along. I but if you would like to keep up with my fig eating story, please follow along on here. I will be doing a video every week on this YouTube channel, but you can also take a look at my TikTok. That is the same handle as here, Life by Milia. I'm posting multiple times a day on there, so there's a little bit more content for you to keep up with. And my Instagram is also the same handle again. Finally, please let me know in the comments if you have any personal figs that you wanna pick up this year, or if you have any comments on this challenge, if you wanna join me, let me know, let's be friends. But thank you so much for watching this really quick little update. I look forward to seeing you next week in my next video. Bye.